Okay, I'm here with Robin De Jesus. How are you? I'm well yourself. Good. I have to say, you are just an incredible performer. Um, I've seen you in In the Heights, and I was really moved by your performance. And I, 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 saw, I saw you in La Caja Fall, and you were just, you take it to the top. I, you channel Rose Perez, don't you? <laughs> Do you? Is that your intention? It, was, it wasn't my intention. It was sort of a, a Bronx, New York, Rican kind of thing. I actually, I have a lot of friends of friends that, that kind of talk like that. I loved it. And, and their parents talk like that. And, then, you know, their parents that came in the 50s kind of spoke less what they picked up from New York. Uh huh. Um, so it kind of came from that. And, and I think in retrospect, like hearing it now, it, there's totally a lot of Rosie Perez in there, actually. It is. But the funny part is, is that if I try to do a Rosie Perez accent, I couldn't do it. Really? But if I do this, it sounds like Rosie Perez. Yeah. And I'm not trying. Well, you're wonderful. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. Okay. Um, is there like something about the role that, like, I, I mean, I always thought of you as very masculine, oh. and then you know when you did this role, I also you in camp. You want to talk about camp? Sure, yeah, I sure. loved Cam. Thank you. I that was the Cam first movie. time I saw you in anything. How did you get that role? Like, that role was literally it was my first audition out of high school. Incredible. And it was an open call that Bernie Telsey was having that I heard from Neil Benari, who's a who's a, a Broadway actor. Yes. He's done a lot, a, lot, a lot of shows. I was a camp counselor to his daughter at a performing oh. arts summer camp, coincidentally. Really? And, uh, and he told the director of the camp about the movie. They were having auditions. So I went in and like, over the course of a week... It was like a weekend and like a day or something like that. I had like six callbacks. It was really? crazy. And we'd go, I was coming to the city every day. And like, I remember I, we had a, the first call, they had us sing 16 bars. And they said, here's uh, three scenes. Come back tomorrow with them fully memorized. Oh my and God. they weren't small scenes. And then they said, but stay also for a, call, a dance call back today. They had me dance. Next day came into the scenes. And, and they, oh, and they also said bring 32 bars of a musical theater song and 32 bars of a, of a pop song. What did you song. sing? That was the crazy part. Like, I wasn't ready for any of this. No. And so I just brought... Well, you're a good singer. Music. Thank you. Yeah. I, I sang, like, I sang I Believe I Can Fly. They didn't even have me sing my musical theater song. And, uh, and, and then I kept having callbacks and... And then I wound up doing the movie, and it was it was really crazy. Like none of us knew what we were getting in for. We had, we had no was, idea that Danny DeVito was producing it. Right, and it was and how popular thing. it would be. It yeah. has like a really huge cult following. It has, like, I saw it like ten times. Thank you. I loved it. Because I've seen it two or three times. I play like the the drag queen kid that gets beat up. Yes. I hate saying drag queen kid because because there's so much more there. But he's like he's like one of the lead kids with the he big bushy the curly hair. He is. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it was it was a pivotal role for Thank you. Thank you. It was great. And, and maybe th when they saw that, did they think of you for this? Actually, no. They, no? That that uh, this came because uh, Duncan Stewart, who cast the show, he they were they decided to try to find a Hispanic actor to do Jacob, and his assistant and him thought of me from I think from that and in the Heights. I, I don't really know which one in particular it was. Okay. And so they asked for me to come in and audition, and at first I said no. Really? Yeah. Why? Because I wanted a break, and I've been doing a show for three years, and right. I really wanted to backpack in India, and I wanted to teach in Africa for a couple weeks. And, Did you get to uh, do that? I didn't get to, but it's oh. going to happen. Oh, well, I'm not, I'm, I probably, when this is done, unless it's something like ridiculously amazing for me, or very different, then I, I probably won't do something right away, a musical. No. Yeah. No, I kind of want to get lost in the world and travel oh. for a couple months. I think yeah. it would be really good for my spirit. Uh -huh. um, and India is something that I've wanted to do since I was a kid, so I, I don't really? want to put it off anymore, you know? I think work can wait. The truth uh -huh. of the matter is, whether there is some and whether there isn't, the truth right. of the matter because I'm not exactly someone who's getting offers left and right. But I think really? I've learned that lesson. Why not? I get offers. I mean... You've done a lot of work for someone so young. I, I, I mean, I, I get... I. I don't know. I think people think of me as a very specific thing, you know, being a young, shorter, Hispanic character actor. Uh, I know for, for years, no one, everyone thought that I only played gay. Really? And then, yeah, and then it took a couple years I had to stop taking gay roles. Right, because you and didn't, then, in, in the Heights you were straight. Yeah, and, and then what happened was when I did In the Heights, because I did it for so long. Right. When I went to meet with other people, they actually, that was all they knew. Oh my god, they didn't like see camp? They didn't know. And it went and I, stupid. It was really, it was really, it was really actually quite interesting that yeah. after a few years, like whatever you play, that's people think it's of you. Stereotype you. And so that was why this was like yes. so different for other people, even though it's kind of going back. Right. Although I don't, 
think of Jacques Hobe as as the character from Camp because I mean, that character from Camp was so such a wounded bird and he just wore his heart on his sleeve and I Jacques loved Hobe, him. Never, yeah, I, I loved, loved him too. Him. I loved him too, and I, and but I, and I think Jacques Hobe should be you no. Know, I mean, I, I think Jacques Hobe is very tragic as well, but he but it's it's under the comedy, you know. Yes. Uh, and he's a little broader. Yeah. You know. Well, congratulations on Thank your nomination. You. God bless. I, I mean, I think you you know you were wonderful and you Thank deserve you. to win, but you know you got a nomination. You know it's all good, and the truth yeah. of the matter is, is like as actors, we constantly go around looking for validation from other people. Yes. And when we get it, and we're not happy. So, you know, as long as I can continue working and trying to find it in myself, yes, that's a lot better. That's but good. it is an honor, and I'm, and it's, it's awesome. Great. Well, thank you very much. Thank you.